Hey, this is Steve with Dabble Lab, and in this video, I'm talking about state management in a custom Alexa skill. And I'm starting with just the uh, the default Hello World uh, template that gets created with the Ask CLI. So that's what we're looking at right now. And in most skills, simple skills, you'll just have one set of functions to handle your uh, intents. So these handlers here, and they're getting registered here. But as, as you build more complex skills, there's a chance that you're gonna wanna break this up and have multiple sets of handlers, or um, maybe you'll want to use uh, an intent handler differently for different areas in the code. So the best way to illustrate this would be with something like a, like a yes, no intent. That's one of the built-in uh, Amazon intent. So if we go to our model over here, um, and I talked about this in some other videos. So if uh, I'll leave a link to that, if this isn't making sense, but there's when you're uh, creating intents, there's some built in Amazon intents, and then you can create your own custom intents. Uh, one of the built in intents or actually two different built in intents that we'll look at today is the yes intent and the no intent. And this is one that, um, for illustrating where state management is important, they're uh, they're a good one to to do that with. So I'm gonna just start by just um, creating those intents or adding them to my uh, model here. So I've got the yes intent and the no intent like that, and then I'm gonna go back over here and in my handler here. Um, I, I'm not handling those right now, but let me let me do that actually in here, and then I'll show you where the issue is. So we'll go like this. It will say yes intent and the no intent here. Okay, and I'll just change this to oh, you said yes. And this I'll change to, you said no. Okay, so we'll start with that. And these are built-in intents, so I don't need to add utterances for these, but uh, what's probably obvious is that these intents are gonna handle a case where a user says yes or yeah, or something like that, or no, or uh, nope, or something along those lines. And when the user says that uh, right now, we're just gonna respond back with you said yes or you said no. And so let me go ahead and uh, just publish this to, to demo it and then I'll um, show you where uh, the issue comes up where you'll likely need to use intents. Okay, we are gonna go down here and deploy this. And while that's deploying, I go out here to my skills and enable it for testing. There it is. And the interaction model is still building here, so we'll give that a second to finish up and then we'll come back and enable testing. Okay, so now the interaction model is done building, so let's go over here and enable it for testing. And we're all set, we'll go back and uh, just test this code out here. So Alexa, open hello world. Hello world. Yes, well, actually I'm not collecting this, hold on a second here. Okay, so actually I need to change this up so that we can prompt the user for yes or no. So I'll just do this, let's see. Yeah, so when this launches, when I say, um, turn Alexa off here for a minute. When I say Alexa, open hello world, the launch request is gonna um, fire this say hello function down here. So we're gonna change it up to, um, Something like that. Oh my gosh. 
slash. And we'll go back down here and publish it again. Actually, I didn't need to publish the entire thing for this. I could have just used the um, deploy dash T for the target and then use the Lambda to just deploy the Lambda. And I'll do that the next time just to show you how that works. Okay, now that that is done deploying, let's test it out. Alexa, open Hello World. Hello World, say yes or no. Yes. You said yes. So that fired this here and Alexa, open Hello World. Alexa, open Hello World. Hello World. Say yes or no. No. You said no. And there's this uh, no intent firing down here, this function here. So um, now what if you need to ask a yes or no question uh, or multiple yes or no questions? This is where you run into a case where you're going to need uh, to manage state. And so if I've got, uh, if I want to initially maybe say um, something like, um, uh, are you having a good day today? Yes or no. And then after somebody responds, um, something like, you know, isn't this fun? Yes or no. Those are two different questions. And so we need to handle the, uh, the response to those differently. And this is going to be where our state management is going to come in. So let me show you how that works. Okay, so what we're going to do to make that work is we're going to uh, create a, another set of handlers, function handlers, and then we're going to register those along with these handlers here, which we can do up here. So we'll start by just going var and we'll call these uh, question handlers. Whoops. And we are going to register those like this. And we're going to give them a name. And I'm going to call these just questions. And we'll go like this. And then we'll create one more that um, I'm just going to call call this conclusion handlers and change this to conclusion like that. So now if I've got multiple cases where I want to handle a yes and no response for this example, I can do that by, I'm going to just take my And I'm going to take these out of here all together. Add them there and add them there. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, first of all, I'm going to um, reference these two handlers or register these two handlers. And I'm going to do that up here. So now I've got my question handlers. And I've got my uh, conclusion handlers. Okay, so now that we've registered those, the next thing that we're going to do is come into our um, say hello function here, and we're going to reference which handler is going to uh, handle the response. And this is where we're going to be referencing our state. So we're going to do that by just setting uh, the state um, like this. And then our state is going to be our question state like that. OK, and now what's going to happen is when we say yes or no, it is going to get handled by our 
question handlers, which is down here. So we set that um, state up with the question name, which is what I'm referencing up here. So now if that works, it should be, the response should be these, uh, these yes, no intents down here. So let's give that a try. Actually, before we give it a try, let's just change this. You said yes in the question. that and you said no in the question handler and we're going to change this down here you said yes in the conclusion and same thing here Okay, so let's uh, let's deploy this and then we'll test it and see what we. Oh, I forgot to use my T tag again. Her. Okay, let's deploy this this time. We're gonna do um, the deploy dash T and. Like that. This is this uh, T um, switch is going to just deploy the lambda. That's all we need to deploy for right now. That's that's quicker than deploying everything. Okay, so let's test it out. Alexa, open Hello World. There was a problem with the requested skills response. Okay, let's figure out what's going on there. And I have a little test harness that I use for just this kind of stuff. So I'm gonna pull that in and see what's, uh, what's going on here. All right. Okay, I see I typed handlers and that is singular, not plural. So that's the problem. Uh, let's go down here. Uh, I did it twice. So let's fix that. And let's redeploy this and see if that fixes it. Alexa, open Hello World. Hello World, say yes or no. Yes. You said yes in the question handler. Okay, so you can see now this time um, it was handled down here, but nothing happened inside of our conclusion handler. So if we wanted to um, change this up and um, get down to this handler here. We could do that by um, prompting the user for a yes or no here that would be handled by this handler. So let's, um, let's do that. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is I need to change my state or set a new state. And I'm gonna set the handler to be the conclusion handler down here. So I'm changing state right here. And then I'm going to um, ask uh, a different question and listen for a response. And I will say, uh, you said yes in the question handler. Um, we'll say, would you like to hear the conclusion? And we'll listen for, or we'll reprompt. Let's take this again here. Would you like to hear the conclusion? Okay. And when we say, we'll do this for no also. Not that. 
Okay, so change this to you said no. Okay, save this and deploy it and try this out. So Okay, now it's finished deploying. Let's test it again. Alexa, open Hello World. Hello World. Say yes or no. Yes. You said yes in the question handler. Would you like to hear the conclusion? Yes. You said yes in the conclusion handler. So there you can see how we're kind of skipping through states using uh, different state handlers. This is a really simple example, but if um, as you get into it, it provides a lot of functionality uh, and a lot of possibilities when you're using um, state handlers. And you're likely, like I mentioned earlier, going to need those as uh, your skills get a little bit more complex. So hopefully, even though this was a simple example, hopefully it was valuable to you. If you have any questions, you can leave those and I'll respond just as soon as possible. If, uh, if you thought this video was valuable, please like it and subscribe to the Dabble Lab channel. Thanks so much.